comparing yourself to my man? Like, do you want to eat my co girl? I don't need niggas for nothing. But am I gonna have my hand out? Yeah, cause that's what you're supposed to do for me. The stuff y'all be going through with y'all baby daddies literally has me terrified to the point where I be like, kids. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe before we even get into today's video because it's a juicy one, okay? Today I'll be installing this lovely unit from Love Me Hair. Thank y'all so much for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be my face. And I'm going to talk my shit. And I'm going to talk about my unpopular opinions about God knows what. So stay tuned. Hi. And it's not going to be a tutorial type of video because I'm getting right into these unpopular opinions, okay? Because I have many. So, let's go ahead and cover these pigtails. Um, and I'm going to be installing a wig today. The hair is from Love Me Hair. Thank y'all so much for sponsoring today's video. Again, get at the kid, okay? Her. Um, all of the information about this hair will be in the description box below, the direct link and any discount codes that I have for you guys, but she is amazing. Like the unit is, is giving the lace, the quality is there, okay, the length, like we're about to slay and I'm excited to get into it and I'm excited to get into this unpopular opinion, so let's go. Oh my god, I haven't seen myself in long black hair in so long. I look so different already. Oh my god. I don't even know if I want to do um, a glueless install or if I want to actually glue her down or not. And since the lace is so good, I actually have the opportunity to like choose. So we're going to see what I want to do. But first off, I got some notes on my phone because I wanted to make sure I covered everything that I wanted to talk about with y'all. So boom, can we get into the low maintenance friendship situation that everybody's talking about right now? Because I feel like, mm, I would like to weigh in on the discussion. Like, what? As of lately, everyone has been talking about how low maintenance friends are the worst. They're so distant. You gotta hunt them down to talk to them and actually spend time with them and stuff like that. And I just don't think that's the case or it shouldn't be viewed that way at our big ages. I don't know about y'all, but from the looks of my analytics on YouTube, baby, my my prime age range from 18 to 34 feel me so if you in the 20 to 30 age range you should feel me on this we are adults I'm not always going to be available to answer every single phone call I'm not going to be able to talk to you every single day you should have some business to attend to and I should as well like um you shouldn't want me to be available to speak to you that much in a day or in a week if I'm keeping it a bean because we're grown. I have bills to pay. I have stuff to do. Like, I don't really think people should equate this friend talks to me this amount. So that means that they love me this amount. That does not, that no, but that don't make sense, baby. That don't, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Like, and I have to vouch for my low maintenance friends because I am that friend. If you call me and you need me, you say, I need your help. I'm there. I'm the. I'm probably the first one pulling up for real, for real. If you need advice, I got you. Ooh, I'm such an empath. I'm going to understand how you feel. I'm going to understand how the other person that's involved feel. I give the best advice. Do I always take the best advice for myself? No. So do I be leading by example? No. But I give some bomb ass advice. And I feel like I'm really a good friend. I feel like I show up and show out for my friends when they deserve it. Like, I'm not giving more than I get. If that makes sense. And I feel like a lot of the time people just want to be in your business. People have their own lives. People have their own shit. People are going through mental situations. You don't you don't know if the next person battling depression, girl. Like life life be life me sometimes, feel me? So if if someone is not a, is not able to be the best friend at the moment, then like, you know, let them have a moment. And don't bitch cry and moan about you. I don't know, that's just me. And oh my God, the people, the people 
that will compare themselves to other really, really important people in your life. Like, for example, your significant other or your family. They'll try to get on you like, ugh. Like, I don't understand how people would try to get on someone and be like, well, you can talk to your boyfriend every day, so you should be able to talk to me every day. Girl, are you my man? Are you my nigga? Do you pay my bills? Do you deep me down? Do you feed me? Like, you're not my man, so don't compare yourself to my man. And don't you ever compare yourself to my family. I understand when people be like, oh, my family's, uh, my friends are my family. I understand that. I have friends like that as well. But you should never think that you are, I don't want to say that important because people's friends are important. But like, don't compare yourself to other very important people in my life. That's just weird. Why would you even want to put yourself in a predicament? Like that right there is something that I can't get G with and I don't understand. It's actually giving like obsession. Like, are you obsessed with me? For you to be comparing yourself to my man, like, do you want to eat my girl? That's just how little me feels about the situation. Cause I feel like uh, I feel as though at the end of the day, it should be a balance with everything. And if you know that your friend just doesn't have the capacity to like be involved with you, with you as much as you would like them to, I think you should one, um, communicate that, and don't be so pressed to throw away a friendship just because someone isn't doing something exactly how you would like them to. Sometimes you have to bend backwards for the next person as well. Nothing is a one way street. So nine times out of 10, if a person isn't doing X for you, it's probably because you're not even doing X for them like you think you are. I don't know, a little a little self-reflection should, should happen before you go crazy on your low maintenance friend, okay? And then another thing is you may just need to be friends with people who be on the same wavelength as you. If you need friends that are as needy as you, maybe you should get some needy friends and not some like self-independent friends that really don't need to talk to you every day. I don't, Cause I don't know. I don't understand how both people are going to be satisfied in that situation. I just don't get it. But y'all, my girlies who choose to date men specifically, depending on how much they got in their pockets. I'm gonna need you to stop it. Or I'm just gonna need you to make sure that your pockets are straight before you try to see what somebody else's pockets want. You get me? And this ain't me being no pick me bitch because first off, I love me some coin, okay? Like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to get that together. But I'm not going to let you know that I need your support. It's a difference between wanting and needing, and y'all be giving me needy, okay? The girlies have been giving me, they have been giving me needy way before, like, the City Girls came out, but I feel like the City Girls have, been, have influenced y'all to just, like, go silly, go crazy, go dumb with it. And it's not, it's not appealing to me. It's not. And honestly, I'm coming to y'all from a sense of concern in terms of, like, some men want that. Some men do not, they not even uh, attracted to the, to the uh, independent type because they need to feel needed to the point where it can get a little toxic because some men thrive off of knowing that you need them. It, it gives them a sense of power. And I feel like giving a man that much power over you, I don't care if it's financial or any type of support to the point where like I you you feel like you can't do X without a man. Nah, sis. That's giving them a little bit much power for me. Girl, I don't know what's that Madea movie. I'm gonna tell her and you're gonna listen. What's what's that movie? Family reunion? Girl, when he was beating all up on her and abusing her, and she felt like she couldn't leave because she needed the coin. Girl, that probably happens a little bit more than what you think. And don't do it. Don't do it. In no way, shape, or form am I telling y'all to lower your standards. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying don't let a nigga know that you need them in any type of way. Make sure that you got yourself. Make sure that you are good financially, mentally, physically, emotionally, 
all that make sure you are good before you start needing somebody else like that's not cute to me i don't i don't know i'm real independent and i get that from my grandmother i love that she instilled that in me at a very young age i don't need a nigga for nothing but am i gonna have my hand out yeah because that's what you're supposed to do for me but it's like i'm not gonna i don't need it feel me like you're just supposed to do that because you're supposed to be on your provider shit but like you ain't never gonna have me out here desperate watch out for the man that low-key get turned on by that I go, yeah, you need me for this. Da, 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 da. Uh, slow your road, sir. It's it's never that deep. It's never that deep. Because some men love it a little bit too much. And some men love to take advantage of women financially. Just letting them know that you will be without. If you was to be without them, it's not a good look. And it's playing with your safety. Period. Next topic. Y'all know what what topic my entire life people made it seem like it was just the perfect thing to do it was the thing that all women should look forward to it was the thing that would just give you so much joy in the world it's having kids and it do not look like it's all cracked out to be what what it is like um is it just me am i the only one who feels that way i did not curl this one correctly let's do it again but it's like as a child i was always told to like wait until i find the right person and wait until i'm financially stable to do that because if the kids are just extremely expensive and all that good stuff but they, if they was talking to me about it as if that was something that had to happen to the point where i never really thought about not having kids i would say until like the last two years of my life and girl, the point in my life that I'm at right now, um, it's looking like a negative, okay? Like, okay, no. Genuinely how I feel about it is, if it happens, it happens and it'll be a beautiful thing. And of course it's a blessing and I would be extremely happy, but um, I would just be extremely terrified because the more I learned about the, the whole entire process, the more I learned about what it does to your relationship, the more I learn about what it does to your body, your mental state, the horrors of healthcare for black women, the more I learn about it, it just sounds like a terrible situation for me to be in, if I'm like honestly speaking. And then another thing is something about my independency right now is just all that I crave for. Being able to get up and go whenever I want to, do whatever I want, travel the world. I know I can do these things. You cannot do these things with a kid. Let's keep it a buck. You cannot get up and go. And you do not have the the ability to put yourself first no more. It's it's about the kid first, then you, Miss Mamas. And I'm in my selfish girl era to the point where I want to put me first. Does that sound crazy? If you are a mother and you're not feeling me, I'm sorry. But that's how I feel right now. And something else that really concerns me in terms of like parenting in general is... How many times I hear women say or like just just talk about the experience in terms of how their relationship was prior to having kids and how it be afterwards. Like they'll say things like no relationship is perfect, but they'll be like everything was going like pretty damn good. Like I was really, really happy. We was like the best couple that the best relationship I've ever been in. And we had kids and it's like an instant switch. Like something happened. It was never the same. Like nothing was ever the same on some Drake shit. And that is that right there scared me. That right there scares me. For you to think that you found the perfect partner and then y'all had kids and then something just doesn't, it's, it's no longer a correlation. How you are with the child, they're not with the child. And I'm not saying that's how all men be. I'm not, I'm not saying all men or all women are the same. Don't think that I am. But for that many women to, to experience basically the same thing, it's like, Somebody need to, somebody need, some, where the, where the uh, science is at? Because somebody need to, like, really, really check this out. Somebody need to study this. Besides carrying your child, why are so many women more connected to their children than adults? Make my sense. So, I don't know, man. I be saying all the time, like, I ain't having no kids. I got enough siblings. I got, like, really young siblings, too. So, I be like, they're my kids, and... I'm going to be a dog mommy. I'm going to be the rich auntie. Um, I know I'll probably seek that experience of, like, 
motherhood. But it's like later down the line, like I probably won't be afraid to be one of them old moms because right now it's just not good. Like, I'm scared, y'all. Y'all and the stuff y'all be going through with y'all baby daddies literally has me terrified to the point where I be like, kids, I look like a little schoolgirl. But anyway, moving on to makeup now. I want to talk about like trendy people or trendy shows that's going on right now. And I'm going to start with her, Krishan Rock, just because I was talking about her on my Instagram the other day. I was saying like, I feel like she is misunderstood and I think she makes really good music, actually. I'm a fan of her music. I got both of her songs. I got Bab and I have Rainy Days. I think Rainy Days came out first. And if y'all see the side of this wig, girl, don't mind. You know it's a closure. And the hair got to get out the way because I hate when my hair be in my face as I'm trying to do my makeup, okay? First off, she putting on for Baltimore, period. Y'all know I'm from D.C. So I got I to gotta stand up for the DMV in general. But I think she's really talented. Um, I don't want to say she's more talented than Blueface because I don't even listen to anything. I never listened to any song that Blueface came out with besides Tatiana. So I can't really compare their um musical talent. But for one, let me say y'all rip. I don't condone anything she's going through in that relationship. Like her putting her hands on him, him putting his hands on her, pulling her hair, throwing her on the ground. Everything that they be going through is crazy. I was watching one of her interviews the other day and it's obvious that she grew up around abuse. She said her mom was abused real bad. And usually like the environments that people grow up in, they think that that's, they know it's not okay, but some way, somehow, in a lot of cases, they end up finding themselves back in them same predicaments. And I just feel like it's an unfortunate cycle of life. And I feel like I wish more people would like really look at it as like, damn, this is a fucked up situation versus like laughing about what she go through. Just because she goofy and she laughs about everything don't mean that like we should join and do the same thing. I don't know. I hope she, I hope she make it out though. And I hope she like really go crazy with this music stuff because like I said she's really talented and she's very spiritual and I love that about her and even though she goes through the craziest stuff I feel like she has a really good heart and soul at the end of the day I don't know it's just how I feel about her so oh, hold on before I get off of her and Blueface lately a lot of people have been talking about his sexuality and people were saying on TikTok like the only top two reasons why he would be going that crazy and that absurd because like he had like knocked down the door and pulled out a piece of her hair and now she has a bald spot in the back people laughing about that i feel like that's the traumatic thing for somebody to go through like that's not funny but they were saying like the two reasons why he would go crazy is because either one he's gay he was talking to men in his phone or two he was talking to underage girls um both are first off crazy like accusations to make about someone publicly and then two I don't think that's right. Like, I don't think that's okay. Like, I don't know what that man got going on. I really don't care. It, my opinion is not about that at all. My opinion is, like, on the fact that y'all really be saying outland outlandish things on the internet, thinking that it's okay just to put your two cents in. Like, what if he is? I don't know if he is or isn't. But if he was, that man didn't come out yet. Like, imagine someone not out yet and, like, the whole world's trying to out him. Like, I just think that's crazy. If y'all have the same opinions as me or on any of these topics, like, comment down below because I want to know what y'all thinking. I'm trying to see what we agree on and what we don't agree on. If I'm batshit crazy out of my mind, let me know. And if you agree what I've been saying, let me know because I want to know. So, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was like the trendy shows that people are watching right now. Uh, Love Island, Ray Bonnie and Mama Bear watching that. I feel like more people are getting put onto it cause I used to watch it and wasn't nobody really talking about it. But of course UK is my fave. I haven't watched the, um, the US one, but I just be confused. Like when it comes to that show, I don't understand how these people aren't like falling off like I don't understand how these people aren't falling on their asses because of like the amount of alcohol they drink every day like are these people like taking care of their bodies on this show like like 
Like, what does it give me? Yeah, I've been seeing them curry around their little water bottles with their name on it. And yeah, like, the, some of the men, most of the men, not all of the men, like, work out here and there and stuff. But for the most part, what it appears to be, I know it's a TV show, so I don't know what's going on. But what it appears to be is y'all are sitting on y'all asses. All y'all do is eat breakfast. That's the only food I see them eat. And then snacks, barely, if that. And they love to drink their coffee and tea in the morning and have a little brekkie. But it's like, y'all drink every single day. I know it'd be crazy alcohol, wine, and beer in them little cups. Y'all party every night. We as an audience never see them eat lunch or dinner. Not even fucking dessert. Unless they in a hideaway. <laughs> like... Are y'all insides okay? Like, do you not need to detox? Like, I know your urine is golden. Like, I don't know. I'm just, hey, don't shoot the messenger. But it just, that's just something that just never made sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like, I want to know how they don't get bored of being around those same people every single day for X amount of time that they did. If you know how long they be there for, let me know in the comments down below because I don't know like the duration. Like if you stay on there from beginning to end, you make it all the way to the finale and stuff and you was like one of the first people there. How you don't get sick and tired of the motherfuckers? Like how, how we really haven't seen like a fist fight yet? Like between the girls, between the guys. Like do they sign a contract saying like you cannot physically harm the other person because as much as y'all be messing with each other, man, men's and girls and whatnot, I would have been slapped somebody like, I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't be me. And like do y'all really think they don't be having sex with one another? Like all that all that fondling they be doing at night. And then y'all how can y'all do that right next to somebody? I don't know. When I was in college, I kicked my roommate out. I said, girl, my man is coming over. You can sleep at this apartment. That was really wild of me, and I probably shouldn't have done that. And I probably already, like, you know, experienced my karma from that situation. Don't get on me in the comments. But how, I just want to know, how do they go through without, like, having intercourse? I don't know. Questions and the answers. And do y'all know what topic was, like, just getting on my nerves on Twitter? You know it's August. Well, I'm filming this in August. I think y'all gonna get this video on August 31st, actually. And it's currently August the 23rd. That's how, like, far in advance I'll be filming out my content. Like, I'm not playing this time around on my channel yet. So if you had not liked this video yet, baby, what did you do? What did you do? Maybe stop playing with me. But I feel like something, that, something else that was irritating me on Twitter, social media in general, was the whole high school girl conversation. Oh, y'all was blowing me, baby. Y'all was blowing me. Y'all was sounding like straight haters. Oh my god, these girls are showing up to high school in lace fronts and wearing this, that, and the third, and yada, yada, yada. Okay? Let them flex. Like, mind your business. It don't concern you. Like, I don't know. That's just how I was feeling about the situation. They like, oh, these high schoolers pulling up in this, that, and the third type of designer. Okay. Shit, I'm in my eye. I'm like, let them show off, let them do what they do. If they parents thought it was okay, then it's okay. If they parents said, I'm gonna let you walk out the house like this, why is your opinion worth a tweet, a post? It's not worth it, baby. Who do you think really listening to you? I feel like you're just speaking for no reason. Like, that's really how I felt about the subject. Like, and come on, I feel like as we grow as a society and we learn how to do different things and like we boss up different ways, and, you know, like, I feel like girls are learning how to do their makeup at younger ages because it's all, it's all they see. And like, even guys are learning how to like do haircuts and stuff. They're probably learning how to do everything on their own. And I feel like, like, every time prom season come around, like, the kitties step it up a notch. They don't be looking too kitty, but it's like, that happens every single year. I feel like y'all just dragged it like crazy this year. I don't know, something was different, but that conversation, I was just like, I just felt like it was a waste of everybody's breath. That's how I feel. I want to talk about the hair real quick. I know it's not a hair tutorial, but it is a hair review. And I will say, this hair was amazing in the lace. 
my god the lace is to die for but but the one part that i'm not feeling is how much this hair has been shedding and i know i'm about to cut layers and i want like a lot of layers so i know it's probably about to just get even worse and shed even more but yeah y'all this hair was shedding and i don't i'm not i'm not messing with it layers just automatically make it look so much fluffier oh my god do y'all see the curls do you see the curls definitely giving layering hair just gives it that oh okay and i love flat iron curls i'm so glad i know how to do them because a lot of people don't know how to do flat iron curls oh, i'm obsessed this unit is longer than i was even expecting like hold on let's let's get into the length for real let's get into the fullness the body yada yada <laughs> that's crazy also the tea on all my units y'all know i pluck them i bleach the knots i do all the fixes to the hair I'm the type of person that changes my hair up too much, so I'm always selling my wigs on Depop. So if you want my Depop, it's always in the description box below. If you scroll all the way down to like my like information about me, it's in there, girl. So hit me up because it's, it's on sale. By the time you see this, it's on my Depop. So run over this, sis. Run over there. But yeah, y'all, that wraps up this video again. Love me here. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoy this type of, you know, chit chat where I'm just talking my shit, talking about all my unpopular opinions, and make sure you like today's video so I understand that you enjoy the content. I'll be sure to film another one for you guys in the future. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, moms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.